Hey everybody, welcome to the show. My name is Bethany. I was so excited when I found out the circus was coming to town because half the fun of having a child is taking them to experience these things that you know they're going to love. I used some really cool techniques, some great products. Let me show you how I did that. The first thing we're going to do is cut out our title letters and I found out by experimenting that you can use thin chipboard with this Big Shot. And what I used is a cereal box. It works really great. That paper board is nice and thin and gives a little bit of thickness though if you want to alter them at all. This is the Big Shot and the Circus Alphabet Thin Cuts all from LSN Design. What you want to do with the Big Shot it's very fun. You can use all kinds of dies with these. You can use your Sizzix dies. You can also use the thick cuts or the thin cuts. These are the thin cuts. You want to make a sandwich. I put my chipboard down first, then I put down the die, and then I make a sandwich between these two clear cutting pads. Now we're going to push this through. You've got to hold on to the handle a little bit and roll it through. Now you're going to see that I have a perfect little C and I also have a lowercase C so I can save that for later. And we're gonna paint on this. I have this really great papier paint by Plaid. This is the Calypso Sky color. So this has a fine tip on it and it's easy just to squeeze it and it comes right out. This is a really cool paint. It's nice and thick. Now, since it's thick, it takes a little bit longer to dry, so just set that aside. So I'm going to use some patterned paper, and it's really beautiful, strong colors, but I wanted to tone it down a little bit because I didn't want to overpower the color, so I decided to add some vellum, and I attached that vellum using pink brads in the four corners. Now what we're going to do is mat our photos. I have Bethany's matting technique that I did in an earlier webisode. All you have to do is pick up your pictures from the developer or you can print them yourself if you had a photo printer and you just line it up on this cardstock. Adhere it down and then all you have to do is take scissors and cut all the way around trying to keep the same width all the way around the border. And here's what it looks like after you've cut it all out. It's a nice piece. The borders are even all the way around and all I did this, I just did this with scissors. So now here is one with part of the title already on and I have the C that I have had drying. I'm just going to put that down. Now we need to dot that little eye right there. So what we're going to use is this Adirondack alcohol ink. This is by Ranger Industries. This is the color stream. And look at this beautiful color when it comes out. It is just blue. It's so pretty. So I'm just going to dip this in here and this is going to dry pretty quickly. Alcohol ink is for non-porous surfaces like plastic and metal and it evaporates and leaves the color behind. And see, it just colors that brad. What we're going to do is I have a mouse pad. We're just going to use a needle tool and the mouse pad is a nice cushion so you don't poke through your wooden table and we're just going to use the brad and we're going to poke it through that hole that we just created and flip it over and open those prongs and you have a cute little circus title now we're going to place this on our pattern paper that we had earlier there we go now i wanted to add some ribbon i wanted to add something that had a nice angle that was interesting to the eye so what we're going to do is add some foam I'm going to put this right here because I'm going to put a picture right there in a second. Now I wanted to add some of this really nice turquoise ribbon to really bring in the colors. So we're actually going to tape this piece of ribbon right here. We're also going to flip it over and tape it around on the back. Now I'm going to tape again on this side, flip it over and tape it again. And I'm also going to keep these little pieces because really I could use these as tabs for something else. I could use this on a card and that way I don't waste too much ribbon. Now we're going to put our focal point photo right on top of that foam and you can see that it looks like the ribbon goes all the way across. Isn't that cool? So now what we want to do is add some initials to this ribbon. We're going to make this fun little embellishment. I love to make my own embellishments and I had this really fun scrap piece of paper that I just punched out some squares. So now we're going to use the Uncle Charles White Rub-On Letters from Autumn Leaves. And I did this in an earlier webisode, but it's a great tip, so I want to show it to you again. Instead of cutting out the little letters, and you have little letters scattering all over your table, cut out the backing for the rub-ons. Then put the letter, I'm going to use the C right here, put it right over that hole. 
and then I'm going to place this on my square. I'm going to put the C at the bottom of the square because we're going to punch a hole later and I want to make sure that I don't punch out the C accidentally. Now I'm just going to take a pencil and I just color right on it and you have a nice C on your square. So now what we're going to do is using some just square epoxy stickers, just peel off this back plastic. We're gonna put this square right down on top. Now you're probably wondering, well, how is she gonna get the hole in that? Because that epoxy is really hard. Let me show you. I have this really cool screw punch. Okay, you're gonna push down and it makes a perfect little hole. It looks like it was always there. Here you can see that I added the embellishments with some pink ribbon. I just tied it onto that blue ribbon. I added some journaling and I also added at and the at the circus with some rub-ons. I have a good tip about adding rub-ons if you want something in a really specific area. I didn't want the E to be on Colin's eyeball, so I did it first in the exact place I wanted the letters to be. Then I worked my way over, I did the T, and then I worked my way over to the A. And that way you know it's gonna be in the exact place. I also added some polka dot ribbon with some green staples, and then I matted the whole thing on some black cardstock. This was a really fun day. We loved watching Colin have so much fun. And I loved doing this page and, and being able to recycle and use the Big Shot with the cereal box and cutting out the letters and, and using this paint. It almost looks like blue cotton candy. I enjoyed commemorating this day and I dare you to do the same. See you next time. For step-by-step -step instructions on how to create this week's project, download the design guide featuring special make-it-your-own bonus tips.